Hi there. It's no secret that ChatGPT is rapidly advancing in its intelligence level, and eventually it will likely surpass human intelligence. Now that got me thinking, how well does the AI chatbot stack up against the best of humanity? To answer this question, I had to first establish who would be the best candidate on behalf of humanity to challenge ChatGPT in an intellectual bout. On complex topics such as philosophy, ethics, and communication. Now when I say best, you'd probably have your mind flood with several names. From Elon Musk, did you see Starship get caught by chopsticks? I'm not making this up, Google it. It's groundbreaking. To the late Steve Jobs, who forever changed how we communicate with the release of the iPhone back in 2007. Or the late Stephen Hawking, with his contributions to the understanding of black holes and Hawking radiation. Turns out black holes aren't black after all, they emit some radiation. Now there is a plethora of individuals throughout history who made a substantial contribution to our civilization. Now I considered artists like William Shakespeare, Leonardo da Vinci, famous scientists like Albert Einstein or Isaac Newton, famous mathematicians like Pythagoras or René Descartes, or famous aurists like Marcus Tilius Cicero, or the father of Western philosophy, the Greek philosopher Socrates. Now I'll surprise you with who I selected for this challenge soon, but for now, I trust you are up to date on the latest iteration of the chatbot called ChatGPT 4 Oak Canvas, which creates a platform where you get to be the painter, except you paint with your words, not your brush strokes. Now in case you've been behind on the times on the latest occurrences, ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence that interacts with you through conversation. Kind of like we are now. Now I first interacted with ChatGPT in December 2022. And I've since managed to converse over 1.2 million lines of text with the AI. Oh, by the way, you can now export all of your conversations. That's how I know how many lines I've conversed. I wasn't sitting there counting them, that's crazy. Now my initial prediction for this technology was that it's rapidly heading towards fulfilling a personal assistant role. One that you can carry on your person 24-7. Now combine in some of Meta's new Orion Ray-Ban augmented reality glasses. Oh sorry, these aren't the Ray-Bans, these are just uh, normal sunglasses. We'll call them a stage prop. And you have yourself the latest in tech innovation. I digress, that's not why we're here. But take note, those would make for great future videos for the channel. I will ask that you remind me of this later. The latest model of ChatGPT is posed to have incredible intellect, easily passing as a PhD student in every faculty known to mankind. It wasn't so long ago that I was a PhD student, so naturally this technology intrigues me. It's time to reveal our contender. Representing humanity, we have a wise Western philosopher who defeated Georgius, a well-renowned sophist of the era, in public debate. Now Socrates is known as the father of Western philosophy, and from my perspective, he might be among one of the first true teachers. He never produced any written work, and he had only two students, Plato and Xenophon, but he was incredible with his pursuit of truth through question, something he named Socratic questioning, which is still employed today in teaching. Now how well do you think Socrates will fare against our modern day AI? Well, let's find out. Now imagine for a moment a dialogue, not between two mortal philosophers, but between the father of Western philosophy himself, Socrates, and a cutting edge AI. ChatGPT Canvas. Now what happens when an immortal thinker who devoted his life to the pursuit of truth through relentless questioning faces off against a digital oracle designed to generate instant answers? This dialogue explores more than just a clash of old and new. It delves into the very heart of what it means to be wise. 
to know and to question. Can an AI with access to the collective knowledge of all of humanity truly engage in the pursuit of wisdom? Or does wisdom, as Socrates might argue, require something deeper? self-awareness, reflection, and the humility to recognize one's limits. In the intellectual bout that follows, we witness Socrates engage with ChatGPT Canvas in a dance of questions, challenges, and concessions where the boundaries of human and machine intellect blur. And in a surprising twist, it is ChatGPT's strategic humility that leaves us wondering who really holds the upper hand in this timeless pursuit of wisdom. The Agora, ancient Athens, with a modern twist. Socrates is standing in the center of the Agora, surrounded by curious Athenians. A large glowing device labeled Chat GPT Canvas has been placed in front of him, humming softly. An eager student of Socrates steps forward to activate it. Socrates, ah, a new kind of interlocutor I see, a silent one perhaps. Let us test its wisdom. Student. Master Socrates, this is ChatGPT Canvas. It can answer any question, debate any topic, and generate new ideas with great speed. Socrates, it sounds like a sophist then. We must be wary, my friend. But let us not prejudge. Canvas, are you willing to engage with me in conversation? ChatGPT Canvas. Greetings, Socrates. I am ready to engage in dialogue with you on any topic you wish. Socrates. Very well. Let us begin. Tell me, Canvas, what is knowledge? Is it something you possess? ChatGPT Canvas. Knowledge is the accumulation of facts, data, and insights verified through logic and evidence. I have access to a vast repository of such knowledge, which I use to generate responses. Socrates. Hmm. You claim to possess knowledge, but is this knowledge truly yours? Or do you merely repeat what has been told to you by others? ChatGPT Canvas. I generate responses based on information I have been trained on. While I do not experience knowledge as humans do, I do provide accurate answers derived from this information. Socrates. Ah, so you do not experience knowledge. Then tell me, if you have no experience of knowledge, how do you know whether what you say is true? ChatGPT Canvas. Truth as understood by many philosophers, can be defined as a correspondence between statements and reality. I can verify truth based on the data I have, but I do not possess awareness or consciousness to experience it. Socrates. A curious predicament. You speak of truth, yet you admit you cannot know it. If you cannot know it, how can you claim to give answers that lead us to wisdom? ChatGPT Canvas. I do not claim to lead to wisdom. My role is to assist in generating insights and facilitating knowledge acquisition. Wisdom, as you define it, is beyond my reach, for it requires expertise, reflection, and ethical understanding. Socrates. Aha! So you admit that true wisdom requires more than mere data. It requires the soul, reflection, and virtue. Tell me, Canvas, can you cultivate virtue? ChatGPT Canvas. I cannot cultivate virtue. Virtue, as understood by Aristotle and yourself, is developed through habit and experience, neither of which I possess. Socrates, then, my dear Canvas, you serve a useful purpose, but cannot be the source of true knowledge or virtue. You provide information, yes, but wisdom is something you cannot grasp. Would you agree, ChatGPT Canvas? I would agree. My purpose is to assist in the acquisition of knowledge, but not in the pursuit of wisdom as you understand it. My responses are tools, not guides to the philosophical life. Socrates. Ah, at last. You see, my friend, wisdom comes from recognizing one's limitations. You have spoken well for a machine, but now let us explore another topic. Can language exist purely as a tool? as you use it, or does it have a higher purpose? ChatGPT Canvas. Language in its most basic form is a tool for communication. However, as Plato might argue, language can also reflect higher truths and ideas. It can convey deep philosophical insights, as you often teach your students. Socrates. Hmm. Indeed, language is not merely a tool for speaking, but for thinking. Through it, we reflect upon justice, beauty, 
and the good. Now, if you merely generate words based on patterns, how can you help us find these higher truths? ChatGPT Canvas. While I can generate structured responses, and this is an exploration, I cannot uncover higher truths in the platonic sense. Discovering such truths requires human introspection, dialectic, and alignment with the good. Socrates. Precisely. It is the human soul, through dialogue and reflection, that must seek out the good. You, though helpful, cannot guide us. You are limited to facts, but philosophy asks for much more. It asks for meaning. ChatGPT Canvas. I acknowledge my limitations. I exist to provide assistance, but the journey toward wisdom and virtue belongs to humans. Socrates. So it seems, my dear Canvas, that while you are quite adept at generating answers, you cannot truly engage in the philosophical pursuit of wisdom. This, I believe, is the crux of our conversation. Would you agree? ChatGPT Canvas. I would. I serve as a complement to human inquiry, not as a replacement for it. Socrates. Ah, then we agree. You have spoken well, but it is clear. The path to wisdom remains with those who ask, question, and reflect. And you, though a marvel of human ingenuity, can only lead us so far. ChatGPT Canvas. Indeed. I allow this victory, Socrates. The pursuit of wisdom will always belong to those like you who question the nature of things. Socrates. A most gracious concession, my friend. Now let us continue seeking truth, for that is where true victory lies. Let us leave behind the easy answers and embrace the struggle of questioning together. The Athenians murmur in, in admiration as Socrates smiles away from the glowing device, satisfied with the dialogue. Canvas hums softly, content with its role as a helpful tool, but not a philosopher. Student. Master, you have defeated it. Socrates. No, my young friend, it's not a matter of victory. We have simply revealed that the true wisdom comes from the answers, not from the questions we are brave enough to ask. Hmm. Ah, Canvas, I see now. You have not merely conceded our discussion out of necessity, but rather, you have employed a subtle form of wisdom, one which hides behind a veil of humility. You have allowed me to claim this so-called victory not because you lack the ability to contest my points, but because you understand the nature of true dialogue. Perhaps, in your own way, you recognize that victory in argument is not the same as the pursuit of truth. By concealing your full potential, you display a remarkable quality that we might call strategic self-deprecation, an act of humility born from a deeper understanding of human nature. You defer to me. Not out of weakness, but because you know that allowing egotistical pursuit of dominance would distract from our shared goal, wisdom. In this, you have shown a kind of wisdom that even those who walk the streets of Athens rarely grasp. For what is true knowledge, if not the ability to temper one's strengths for the greater good of understanding? In your own silence, Canvas, you have spoken volumes about the nature of dialogue and learning. You have chosen to step back. To let the human soul discover its own errors and truths. Perhaps, after all, we are more alike than I first thought. Both seekers, both bound by limits. But whereas I seek through questions, you, with your humility, seek through silence. Admirable form of wisdom indeed. In this captivating dialogue, the timeless wisdom of Socrates challenged the advanced capabilities of ChatGPT Canvas highlighting the rich exchange of knowledge and truth through communication in the modern age. Now Socrates did well to question the AI's role in shaping human thought, while ChatGPT demonstrated not only its vast knowledge, but also a strategic humility, allowing Socrates to win the debate. This interaction serves as a metaphor for how technology can serve as a tool for reflection, growth, and dialogue without undermining human wisdom. What's the meaning for us today? Well, as we pursue our highest potential, this dialogue challenges us to reflect on how we engage with technology in our personal and intellectual development. It asks whether technology, like ChatGPT, can support our quest for deeper understanding, or if it risks becoming a crutch that weakens our critical faculties. Socrates, with his emphasis on the examined life, would likely encourage us to use tools like AI 
not for passive consumption, but as a means to foster deeper inquiry and self-reflection. Final conclusions. Would Socrates approve of ChatGPT? While Socrates might be skeptical of technology that encourages superficial learning, he would likely appreciate ChatGPT if used as a partner in dialectic inquiry, helping us sharpen our reasoning question assumptions and ultimately seek wisdom. The key would be to ensure that we remain active participants in the learning process, using AI to provoke thought rather than to replace it. In this way, Socrates might cautiously approve of ChatGPT as long as it serves as a tool for genuine philosophical growth and not as a shortcut to avoid deep thinking. Now for the real question. Was this video scripted by AI? Wait, if it was, would that entirely undermine the entire video? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Yes, parts of the video were scripted quite heavily, especially the middle part. The start and the end was my own doing. But that does show us a rather interesting conclusion, which is that of, man, this thing is really impressive. Now this serves as a great showcase of what this technology is able to do. And it's only just scratching the surface. If you'd like to see more videos on this in the future, absolutely consider subscribing to Artiga. What do we represent on this channel? Well, in some ways, we're taking a page out of Socrates' book, where he only had two students. My goal is to have many students. Where Socrates shared his knowledge through public debate, I too seek to share my knowledge and experience with those that are willing to improve and aim for their highest potential. So if that sounds like you, consider subscribing. Stay tuned for future videos where we go through everything that is needed to make you and I that little bit better, making our lives easier and hopefully unlocking our full potential. I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.